If a company is innovative, like we are, has a clear strategy, purely mechanical, I, I said independent, I think it's also important because we are fast, we can move very fast and uh, I think also Swiss made, I think uh, there's a, uh, it's always a way to go and I think it's a sign that people start to recognize real watches for real people, that is what Oris is. I think Oris really has stick to that, as I said earlier, that is the claim which is valid since the beginning of the company. In 2014, last year, when we brought the Calibre 110, and that was really, after Oris has developed 279 calibers, it was really an achievement, because we developed this together. We have an in-house development team, but we did it together with these micro-technical companies around the Jura area. And that was really a challenge because last year we did it on the single piece, individual piece production, Series Zero. And now this year, and this is really amazing, we did everything with toolings. So although it's the same watch, it has now a movement which is uh, manufactured with industrial uh, methods. And this is the real difference now that we can repeat and keep the quality at a very high standard. So for us, we control all the tools, we control all the uh, designs, and we will have, of course, uh, uh, this uh, addition now with the uh, uh, calendar. Calendar is uh, now a very useful function. Of course, it comes with the uh, power reserve and the non-linear power reserve indication. Small second and, of course, a 10-day power reserve. We even increased it to 11 days. Make sure it really works uh, 10 days. So that is, we are very proud of this. I think it's, it's an achievement now one step further because it's industrialized, brings us back to where we started, 1904, and it's still real watches for real people because the price is very, very attractive. We brought a watch which is a, a replica of a diver's watch from 65. At that time, Oris made uh, diver's watches, but they were hand-wound and they had a, a plexi crystal. So, and the, the bezel turned in both directions. So what we did now is we brought this watch, which is uh, now uh, with a sapphire, uh, very well curved sapphire, and of course uh, automatic with the old Oris logo on back, however, uh, not with the road, red rotor. And I think what is also quite nice is this tropical strap. We call it tropical strap because this strap allows you to wear it and you don't sweat so much. That was used already in the old days when, we, when this watch was launched. At that time it was a plastic watch, but now it's, it's actually a, a plastic strap, but now it's a rubber strap. So I think it's a very, very special piece for people who like a kind of a vintage watch. And also the, the tritium, it's not tritium, but the color of the tritium is kind of beige. So the tritium in the age, when it's used, it gets it discolors. So we use this color right away. So it's a kind of a nice uh, detail which goes with this watch.